Hi, so today I'm going to teach you successive differentiation. Now, the idea of successive differentiation is quite simple. If you have a function and if you want to find out the higher number of derivatives, okay, and that can be done by using successive differentiation. I've taken one sample problem just to make you understand the basic idea of successive differentiation. Now, if you see here, I want to find out like a 300 differentiation, whatever, of e raised to x. So it goes like this. If I have to solve this, the solution is like this. Let me assume this whatever given uh, e raised to x as y. So if I assume that e raised to x as y, and if I differentiate this with respect to x, I'll get the first derivative that is dy by dx. And dy by dx, the derivative of e raised to x is going to be e raised to x. And if I apply chain rule, I'll get a. That's the first derivative, right? Now, if I differentiate again, now we've done this before, right? We'll get a second derivative that is going to be d square y upon dx square and the value e raised to x a is already constant. So derivative of e raised to x is just e raised to x. And again, the chain rule will give me a, and now this will become a square, right? If I differentiate this again, I'm gonna get, supposing if I differentiate again, I'll get a third derivative. So this is d cube y upon dx cube, and the value will be e raised to x as it is, and I'll get one more a. I hope you can see that already. Now, if I ask you that, uh, what is gonna be the fourth derivative? You really don't have to solve this. Okay, there is already a trend over here that with the first derivative you get e raised to x and a raised to 1, the first power. With d square y by dx square, the second derivative you get e raised to x with a square. And the third derivative you get e raised to x with a cube. So, if I have to find the 300 derivative like d 300y upon dx 300, that has to be e raised to ax and a raised to 300. Right. So basically, when we find successive differentiation, the idea is that you have to find a pattern. OK, now this was a very simple problem. This is no not difficult at all. But then we will see some of the questions, how we can find the higher order derivative of some of the other terms that is coming up after this. So this is just to give you a basic idea. So understand that any function you write y as a function of x. OK, now if you differentiate this, we get this dy by dx, or you can write this as f dash of x. Now, if I differentiate this again, I get d square y upon dx square, and that is f double dash of x, okay? I can keep on differentiating like this, and if I differentiate that nth time, that is dn y upon dx raised to n, if I do this, I will get fn of x. That's basically saying nth derivative. All right, and the derivative n can be any number. It has to be a, a full number, not a fraction though. So that's the whole idea. And what we do usually is instead of writing it as dy by dx, we simply write it as y1. Okay, now when you see y1, it basically means dy by dx. It just saves some time writing this whole dy by dx again and again. So this has to be y2 and same way this will be yn. So when we are doing successive differentiation, the main aim here is going to be to find yn. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. Initially, we'll begin with deriving some of the standard formulae for successive differentiation. And once that is done, the next part is gonna be, we will see some problems which we can solve using successive differentiation and some standard formulae that is coming up. And this is gonna be a continuous series and we will be doing all the videos one by one. So see you in the next one.